in this time of giving, Christmas having passed, New Year's on the way, Lara and I would like to bring you a lot of things. One, I'm bringing the excitement. Yeah! Woohoo! Lara's, of course, bringing the sexy. Of course, with my awesome voice, I'd like to pretend that I'm bringing the sexy. Okay, lie to me and tell me I'm bringing the sexy. Damn it, it'll help my self-esteem. Just go with it. You can imagine we're probably going to have some enemies, so Lara's going to bring the pain. Whee! And last but not least, I'm bringing you another video of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Good times. Because this game's not going to play itself. I need to get this LP done, actually. We have a true test now, young ones. The valley is balance. When one thing slides, it affects all others. The fire two harvests ago led to an unusual bloom of berries. That led to more deer. And now, we've got too many damned wolves. They're not good eating, but to keep the valley in harmony, we're tracking wolves tonight. They come out after dark and roam the whole valley, but we're going to track them to their dens in caves and other underground places. Stay close together. When you hunt wolves, the wolves are just as likely to hunt you. Oh, yeah. I like that teacher lady. I don't know why. Of course, with her voice, she sounds hot, but still, even without that, I don't know why. I kind of like her. And we're moving on. So, a fair portion of this video, we're going to be doing, I guess you could say some collecting, because we will be doing a lot of that, but we will be progressing through the game. It's kind of like when we got to... There's a few videos back. I'm thinking of a specific portion of the game. I know I was talking about Star Trek, but I can't remember exactly where it was. So we are actually doing game progress. There will be story... I'd say the last 15 minutes of the video will definitely have story. Just trying to go over in my head there will be definite story important story moments but we will be doing quite a bit of collecting not out of the way i can collecting. no longer deny the pull that alia has on me she came to me alone as i walked the passes high above the valley i know now that the draw was mutual i explained to her why i could not should not why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly why I could never make her happy. But it didn't matter what I said. As my mouth spoke, my arms reached out to enfold her, and we embraced. It has been so long, and I am still human. Is that anything like Buffy and Angel and how they always used to be like, but we can't, but we must, but I love you, but we mustn't. One of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in a TV show was on an episode of Angel where Wesley and Cordelia are imitating Buffy and Angel. It's fucking hilarious. I'm sure there's a video clip of it. If I can remember, I'll try to put a link to it in the description. I think it's funnier if you know the characters, though. If you've never seen Buffy or Angel, then it's probably not very funny. But if you have... It's hilarious. I actually went on quite a bit of an adventure to get back to this area we're at. Trying to figure out how to get up here. End up stuck in some water that you'll see later. Damn it, Lara! You're supposed to do that on the first try. You and me, we're supposed to be a team. God damn it. I'll say this for Lara, she's no Jill Valentine. Jill never let me down. Except in Resident Evil 5 when she was all mind controlled and trying to kill me, but besides that, Jill never let me down. Why do women always gotta let me down? What did I ever do to them? Sure, I've made pervy comments about some of them, but that's just saying I appreciate the beauty that they possess. That's all that is. I mean, there's no reason for them to hate because of that. I'm talking bollocks again. Sorry. 
Not really much to talk about right now. I just was doing a little bit of collecting. That's the most out of the way collecting that we'll be doing. We have to come this way anyways to get where we're going. You're alive. Good. We got most of the wounded to safety, but the invaders returned. They've taken the upper village. There are more of us down in the valley organizing for our resistance. We'll take any extra hands we can get. If you're going back to the village, be careful. Hello. Oh, Lara's got all the hands she needs. She don't need no man. What am I talking about? Damn it. Okay, we really need to move on here. And they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. I'm uh, pretty sure you've said that to me already back at the Soviet installation. But thanks, guy. I would like to have been able to carry that with me. It would have been a nice explosive to use coming up. That's a cool new mechanic that we get as well, the water stealth kill. I'm glad I've got the ability to not take damage for a little bit after performing a stealth kill. Not that any of these people saw me, but still. Alright, Lara, time to bring the pain! We brought the sexy, we brought the Tomb Raider, the spirit of giving. There we go, now we're giving pain. Well, Poison gas. They sound like they're in pain when they die. So I'm gonna assume they're in pain. If not, we'll be spotted by some enemies here before too long. What I'm trying to do here is get back to the water. I figure one of those guys would come over here. I was trying to get back into the water and the camera angles on this game aren't very good. And I'm not very good at this game. Just didn't work for me. I was hoping to get back into the water and wait for that guy to show up and see if I could water stealth kill him. There are two or three dudes left. There! Now we're bringing the pain! Apparently they're bringing the pain too. They take a lot more damage in this video than I have in most of the fights that I've been in in this game. Oh, sure, now you go into the water. Throwing a grenade. Oh, crap. I probably should have stayed in the water there, but... Fuck well. you! <laughs> Fuck you! Bofo. Well, I censored myself there after saying fuck you, but whatever. Alright, so that was a small encounter. I'm gonna have some bigger ones here coming up. There's not a whole lot in the way of collectibles. I ran around trying to find the enemies that I killed, and I couldn't really find too many of their bodies. I'm sure they're there, and I'm just not seeing them. This is the only collectible I could find in this area. Unless this is the same area we'll be running around in later on, and I just didn't notice it, which is entirely possible. Pretty much everything in here I can't pick up, which is annoying because it means it's an item that I don't really use. That's going to happen to me several times where I pick up something that's a distraction item. <sighs> so annoying. I've attached to everything I've learned so far. Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is running a private army. But all roads lead to Rome. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm gonna die for this, I wanna be on the right side for once. And Constantine? I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind. Well, we know where he is right now. He's hanging out in that shop waiting for us to bring him more gold. I hope he lives, though. This is a section you're going to want to stealth if you can. It's far better if you can stealth it. It took me several tries. If you get spotted, 
you'll be swarmed by dudes. I'm not saying you can't survive it, but it's definitely more challenging. I expected to get spotted there. That's why I kind of ran back there. I didn't actually intend to use the poison arrow here. But it's effective. Someone there? I think there's someone out there. Whatever gives you that idea. And I wasn't sure, but it seems like they're armor plated, so poison arrow might have been the best option for me here anyways. We're going to get a lot of cuts in this area. I do a decent enough job, I think, of showing the map locations. I try to anyways, of where I jump cut to. In this area, I walk around a little bit. We're in the same area, but just over a little bit. I thought there were supposed to be a couple more dudes over there, but there wasn't anything over there. No collectibles, anything like that. But there is a dude over here. Now what I wanted to do, and I couldn't find the item to do it, I wanted to have him walk over there. I think it was an explosive. And I wanted to explode it on him, but I'll take a stealth kill. God, I missed Tenchu. Anybody else agree? If you don't know what Tenchu is, well, you're missing out great game series we haven't hit the jump cuts yet but we're going to starting around this area it was a minor one we'll have a major one here when we're leaving this area though A lot of me moving slowly and using the survival sense looking for stuff. That's why I end up doing the jump cuts. I feel like I had a thing I wanted to talk about too. Don't remember what it was though, so that's okay. And yeah, we got New Year's in a couple days, so happy New Year. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and do a Molotov. Why not? Use one in a while. Sucker! You're burning, you're burning, you're burning for me. See, now I'm trying to bring the melody and failing. I at least get an A for effort. That's where we need to go. But we're not going there yet because there are a couple files I want to pick up. And a weapon part. Why I don't know, I'm probably not going to change weapons, but whatever. And here's where you'll see a little bit of an example of why I did so many jump cuts, why we had the dramatic jump cut there. I'm moving a lot like this, just trying to find stuff. And all of it for naught, I didn't really find anything. I have sinned in God's name. Much blood has been spilled on this valley floor. As I speak now, blood continues to flow. Forgive me. That the divine work requires sacrifices does not mean I am clean. Forgive me. For since I've suffered the stigmata in my youth, I have sinned in your name. Forgive those I've killed myself and those who've been killed in my name. They knew not what they were doing. Forgive me. Forgive me for the work I do is not yet done. And there is yet much blood to be spilled. Okay. I'm assuming they're not talking about the Christian God here, but I'm going to point that out for a second. Because I want to avoid making the obvious girl in her period joke when he talked about blood blood. So we're just going to ignore that. The Christian God has the commandment of thou shall not kill. It doesn't say thou shall not kill except for in God's name. It says thou shall not kill. Now, of course, you can interpret that in many different ways. Maybe it's okay to kill in self-defense, etc., etc. My channel is not a religious overview channel, so we're not going to go there. I'm just 
getting to my point of if a god or any sort of deity has something they consider a sin, then that means you don't do it. You are hunters, every last one of you, and I am proud. Your final lesson comes today, a test all hunters must face. Today we'll track the one thing bigger and meaner than me in this valley. Today we'll take down a bear. We only hunt bears when they get old and ornery when they start to enter the village. And now, we have such a bear. I've tracked him to his den, watching him range across the valley, following the other animals. We must throw our spears together. When he rears up, aim straight and true for his heart. A lucky shot between the ribs can drop any beast. Pray you make it, because there won't be a second chance. I'm just saying, I like that teacher lady. I wonder how that bear hunt turned out for her and her students. Hopefully they lived. I know I've talked about this before briefly, but if you have a deity and they say, hey, this is a sin, then that means you don't do it. Which means everything Constantine is doing is wrong, even in the eyes of his god. This is why I don't get religious fanatics. I mean, I have my own specific beliefs. But they don't involve killing unless somebody asks for it. And by ask for it, I mean like they attack you or they attack someone you love or something like that. For a month I have gone to the forum to hear the prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the church in the west seek to silence the prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world. I didn't get to talk about this earlier because I've gotten sidetracked with other comments and rants and whatnot. That file we got from the merchant. Yeah, and I can't see anything right now. That offered up some interesting details that I'm sure will be present in future games. So Trinity is ran by some people out of Rome in the Vatican. Which makes sense, because let's face it, the Catholic Church is nothing but a bunch of corrupt assholes. That's right, I said it. Anybody who sanctions the rape of little boys, they can fuck off and die. Well, sanctioning the rape of anybody, they can all fuck off and die. Security guards came at night. Knew they would. Crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I know I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon, point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity. For Constantine. And for anybody with any sort of low self esteem or a weak will, that's how a cult sucks you in. <sighs> Don't have much left to go in this horrible, horrible area. What did he say? 
I hope y'all don't mind the jump cuts I had there. You just kind of have to find your way around. I felt like there should be more enemies in there than I encountered, though. So that's it. Which is kind of odd. But we're gonna get quite a few here. Some of those guys were on contract. Not a ton, but enough. gave them rank. You have to be patient. There's more to it than performance. I'm just hoping like that some sort of oath and then the because we're not. This is a slight spoiler, but I don't think it's too bad of a spoiler. We're not going to finish with Trinity in this game. As you can tell by the file, Constantine and his group are only a small portion of Trinity. We already know there's a bigger portion of Trinity out there. Okay. That's why I edit most of these battles. Damn it. I just hope they finish with Trinity in the next game because I don't want the whole series of well, this reboot series to be all about Trinity. And Trinity was mentioned in a couple of files in the first game. One I found, the other one I did not. So I just hope that this series isn't all about Trinity because I really don't want it to be like that. Oh crap. Thankfully this game has health items and thankfully I remember to actually use them. Oh crap. A lot of times during this section I can't actually see the enemies. I don't know where the fuck they are. And that's the problem I'm running into now. So I have to say fuck this noise, I'm moving over here where I'm away from everybody and then they can come to me. Which is how I like it. See, this is why I don't hit on ladies. I want them to hit on me. Except they never do. And then when I hit on them, they reject. God, why? Damn it, stop shooting me! I'm just a small town girl trying to make it in this lonely world. Oh wait, Laura's not a small town. She's like all rich. Damn it! There's a cockbag or two up on that staircase that are shooting at me to get annoyed. Finally, I say fuck it and just go after them. There's like three dudes in this little shack that we're going to come across too, but they're going to come out to us. That goddamn grenade launcher has no range to it. Go fuck yourself, dude! You can go fuck yourself. If Lara ain't gonna do it, she'll fuck you up, but she ain't gonna fuck you. I don't know what I'm talking about again. This is what happens when I have nothing to talk about. Let's just start talking bollocks. Alright, get behind that corner. I probably should have came here from the get-go and just let everybody come to me. Right? Come on. Oh, fuck you! That's how we do it back in London! Bitch. I ran around trying to collect more items. Damn it. See, I told you that would happen. Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. Another villain bitching because somebody that they attack is attacking them back. It's always funny to me when you have a villain in a story and they're like, I'm going to get revenge on the hero for defeating me even though I'm the one that started everything. I mean, if these guys didn't come out here trying to do all this shit, Lara wouldn't be killing them. That's on you, Constantine. I'm telling you, he's evil. Anybody who sanctions the murder of this many people Pretty much evil unless they're protecting somebody See Lara is trying to protect the villagers and whatnot, so it's okay 
she can do that. Plus that she's fine as hell, so. She's not gonna just kill you if you're not trying to harm her. So she's okay. The Trinity. Evil assholes. Took me forever to find the stupid staircase. That radio chatter reminds me of the beginning of a song. <coughs> really? We're gonna start this file with a cough? Oh, this fucking illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off. Getting lost in memories. Lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift. How I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done. And this time will be no different. Anna, nobody's impressed with you. Just saying. Yeah, that radio chatter reminds me of the very beginning of a song. I believe it's called Edge Crusher by Fear Factory. It's an okay song if you don't mind loud screaming. If you mind that, then you won't like it. I'll try to remember to put that link in the description as well. Hopefully I'll remember. Not well. I've been drinking, so give me a break. Ooh, that was close. I do really like this grappling hook. It so far hasn't been quite as good as I thought it was going to be, but it's still very nice and has saved my butt on a few occasions. And we're looking for another file. We're almost to where we're going to get mostly story for the rest of the video. There's a woman in the valley now. Not one of us, but not one of them either. I saw her the night Elias was killed. She fought the men who were hunting us. Now I hear whispers from the forward scouts. My father and this woman were seen, free and unhindered. There's no telling what she wants or if I can trust her. But if she brings my father back, then perhaps God has not abandoned us. That file was clearly left before they met up in the village a few videos back. If she knew all that then why the fuck is she pointing an arrow at Lara? and she even straight up said there she saw her fighting trinity so i don't get her attitude like her writing for that girl makes absolutely no sense which is why i don't like the character she's just horribly written it makes absolutely no sense like why are you going to get pissed off at somebody for fighting your enemy you didn't see Lara attacking any of your people, did you? No. The writing for her character is a complete fail. It's not going to be a fail as we're going to get this collectible here. A thin, fluted, flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. Is it just me, or is it kind of odd that people in other countries, especially England, refer to this place as America? I mean, I know it's technically America. The United States is in North America, but there's also a South America. But I don't know that they would do that for... Fuck, I'm trying to think of a uh, country that's in South America. I don't even know that they would do that for like Mexico or Canada. I think it's just America is usually how they refer to the United States. Heads up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. It's because they suck, that's down. why. Negative. It's just kind of odd to me. But then again, Germany, according to the German classes I took in college, they refer to themselves as Deutschland, apparently. Yet everybody calls them Germany, so I don't know. It's just, it's one of those odd things. You think they would be called what they want to be called. 
Now this guy ain't telling nobody nothing anymore. He dead. And I think there's a file. No, it's not here. It's coming up. Vague memories of gameplay I did yesterday. Oh my Jesus. This grappling hook is pretty cool. It's honestly one of the coolest features that I've seen in a game, but it does make me nervous a lot. Some believe the prophet to be God's son risen, but he makes no such claims. Some praise his actions as miracles, but he rejects such attributions. In his humility, his followers see the truth of his message. We see the change coming. I have shed the trappings of my station and now devote myself fully to the prophet. I spread his word, recruiting others of my station to the cause. But this has enraged the elite and brought the full attention of the church in the West. Is the church in the West supposed to be Trinity? Because we've already established that they started in Rome and Rome is not the West. Although I suppose Rome could be west of where we are. I think we're in... I will freely admit I don't know my geography, but I'm pretty sure we're in some sort of... We're not Russia, but Siberia somewhere in the Russian territory. So maybe Rome is west of this area, but I'm pretty sure when they say the west, I mean the United States. Or what Europeans call America. United States, God damn it! Get it right. Which means we should be calling Germans from Deutschland, not Germany. God damn it! Get it right. So this is really and I'm bringing the anger. They, they do find the God, What's next? bring the pain. The Atlas is damn it! I said bring the pain, not bring the miss. Okay, there's one dude down. Looking, looking, got to keep on looking. He's over here somewhere. There he is. Hey, buddy, thanks for having that flashlight, because I would not have seen you otherwise. It took me two tries with this. The first try at this segment, both dudes were in this area we're about to jump to. And I actually did all the platforming in this section better my first try, but couldn't find the segment of the video. So I went with my cannon run. I don't know what happened to the enemy body. I wanted to loot it, but I couldn't find it. It could be right there and I just didn't see it. That's entirely possible. Now I didn't die to the enemies, which is good. I died to something y'all won't see, but I'll talk about it here in a second. There's an area that you can jump and grapple hook to and then slide down a zip line to pick up a couple of crafting items. And it's, you would get to it from this platform. You'd turn around and I, yeah, kind of turn around that way and look up and there'll be an area you can go to. But when I died, it spawned me back there and I figured, you know what? It's not worth doing that and risking dying again. So I didn't go back and try to get it again. Not worth it. I do like getting more platforming stuff. I really wish there was more of that in these games. I really wish there was more of that in Uncharted. To be honest. When I do Uncharted 2, should I do it on my PS3 copy or should I buy the HD collection for the PS4? These ruins hide much. You cannot dig too deep or too fast. The men are trying to be cautious. <gasps> cautious? Why? We no longer have time for caution, and I no longer have the patience. With all due respect, if all of my men die down there... We are all expendable here, Commander. What matters are results. The stakes are too high. We 
reached the lower level, but we have another problem. We've lost our rear guard. Define lost, Commander. No radio contact, no visual contact, just They'll gone. proceed without them. That's outside mission protocol, ma'am. It introduces unnecessary risks. Can you achieve your goal without them? Ma'am, I don't think we're alone down here. I need tactical support. No, <coughs> we're stretched too thin across this battle. If you feel you're being pursued, then I suggest you move faster. <sighs> and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! her way. Kill her and bring me that goddamned Atlas. <laughs> and just how well do you think that's going to work for them, considering you've sent so many of your men after her already, and none of them have been able to do the job. Croft continues to create difficulties for us. She's rallied the Valley people from their squalid huts and helped lead them to a series of victories. I wish I could make her understand just how wrong she is. How misguided her ideas of morality are. The world is too flawed for stopgaps. A lone hero cannot rescue it. The idea of revealing the Divine Source to the world would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Did I think she could be turned to Trinity's side before? Yes. But not anymore. We were close, she and I. There is a bond there, but... I think now there is no other choice. She must be broken. And I know she can be broken. I've broken stronger than her. Apparently, they don't realize what she's been through already. I mean, let's face it, Lara really doesn't have anything left to lose at this point. I mean, who's left? Jonah? That's it. It has to be. I'm ahead of Anna now, but I don't know what I've gotten myself into here. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I've come too far. Anna thinks she knows me. 
And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, I might still have the upper hand. Oh, yeah. So there are a couple more things I want to do before we end this video. Really just read An old more. mural. And those vessels. Greek fire. The prophet's deathless army. Armed with Greek fire. They were unstoppable. I don't know if I got it in this video. It might be what's going to start the next video. But Greek fire shells are something you get for your shotgun. I'm going to have that upgrade ability. Hopefully that's useful. But we are now thankfully at the end of this video. So thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time when we continue this lovely game. Which hopefully I will complete this weekend.